Hello YouTubers. This is going to be a demonstration of my Touch Pro 2 by T-Mobile being flashed with a different ROM. As some of you may know, the Touch Pro 2 uh, by HTC, the, uh, the full legal name of this phone is an HTC T-Mobile Touch Pro 2, which is a mouthful. So it's a Touch Pro 2, but these can be customized uh, any number of ways. That's one of the uh, advantages of a Wind Windows mobile based phone is the high degree of customization that can be done with the phone. So a ROM is another way of saying an operating system and I have currently on here uh, one 6.5 uh, mobile operating system, Windows Mobile or Winmo and I'm going to put on a different one now because I like it better. So I have it set up my phone as you see it here connected to my uh, notebook computer with uh, Active Sync on uh, and the phone synchronized. You have to have an ac Active Sync connection when you're doing this. Uh, you can't do it basically for example through the phone. You have to uh, have your your USB cable connected to the notebook computer or the desktop and then you install it through the notebook computer that's because you're when you're doing this you're and flashing the phone basically you're wiping out the capability of the phone to carry out any of the instructions etc because it's it's taking the chip back to zero so to speak and there's no way for it to say hey update me because there's no there's nothing on the phone itself it's almost a dumb phone in that that sense but your computer your notebook or desktop is the one that's carrying out all the functions and instructions on that are needed for the updating process so that's why it's connected and that's why there's as active sync uh, Microsoft active sync is is on there and I won't show you the screen because I've got this set up right now to do the update. Uh, this is going to take longer than the one uh, video, so uh, watch the um, uh, part two of this. But uh, let us get started and um, hope you find it interesting. Okay, I've got my program up on the screen and it says uh, PDA Phone Update Utility. 3.27.4.3 and then it tells you uh, there's a picture of the Touch Pro 2 on the left hand side and it says XDA Developers HTC Rhodium Custom RUU and then it has the uh, website uh, for the uh, where I got this ROM which is xda-developers.com again that's xda-developers.com but the best place to get these ROMs, all these, they call them cooked ROMs, or uh, you could call them hacked, whatever you want. Uh, the best place to get them, I think, is on a, a site called thewingster.com. Thewingster, W-I-N-G-S-T-E-R.com. Because they have explanations of all the, um, the ROMs, etc. And also available for download. So, okay, let's get started and make sure you tune into part two of this process because I'm going to show you in real time how this is all done. Okay, on the screen it, it, it confirmed that the phone is connected, etc. And it checked my version and it says current information, image version, and then it says select from below to update the current ROM version and then it has a cancel in case you get you know you're the chicken that you are that you don't want to do this so you can press the cancel button but I will click update and then it asks you again verify what you want to do and it says from image version blah blah and then it says to image version energy ROM HD that's the one I'm putting on here so I'm going to click next 
and it says you are now ready to update your ROM image. This operation, ta operation takes approximately 10 minutes. And I am now clicking next and it's in big red letters it says please do not remove the USB connection. Remember the operation takes about 10 minutes. That's obviously for the impatient people that think something's wrong if the update process is going a little too slow for their uh, their needs and expectations. And I can keep talking here because this is basically a silent operation as you can see nothing much happens. Let's see if we've got any sound effects around here handy. Nothing, nothing. They usually have all kinds of stuff around here that can provide entertainment, update entertainment. Let's see. Nope, everything's in the closet. Put away. So, no entertainment for you. Okay, on the screen you can see it says 37% and on, on the notebook computer that I have this connected to it also has a screen with the same uh, percentage graph, uh, in, uh, a percentage indicator and it's pretty much tracking at the same as on the phone here that you see. On my notebook it says updating the ROM image on your PDA phone and then it has the percentage uh, here that's increasing as it goes along. It's doing the same thing on the notebook computer. And then the warning, like I said, it says, please do not remove the USB connection from the PDA phone or launch any program during the op update process. And what they're talking about there is on your notebook computer or your desktop. Don't be multitasking because you're going to screw up your phone. That's how a phone gets bricked. If you want to see some entertaining videos uh, and make them make you feel bad, look. type in the name of your phone and type in the word bricked, B-R-I-C-K-E-D, and people will show you their bricked phones. So sad, sad videos. Okay, it's saying 100% and I'll start going through a number of screens. Now on my notebook screen it says congratulations your ROM is now update is now complete your PDA phone is ready for use and it has a finish button which I will click I believe next it recognizes that I have some contacts on my SIM card and it'll ask me if I want to put those on my card. I mean on the phone. It says there please wait while your device is being set up. This should take no longer than a couple of minutes. And we're at uh, eight, about nine minutes. Uh, and my my camera is set up to cut out the video after about ten minutes, so that I don't go over. So when it, it does this, I will uh, start it again, so you can see part two. And I'll just uh, rather than being cut off talking at the end, I'll just shut up right now.